everybody, this is Kara Shaw from Hen and Chick Cakes. And yesterday I posted a video showing how I transfer an image directly onto fondant. I call it the tattoo method and you use an edible printer and a sheet of acetate to transfer your image. It also works on royal icing. So today I just want to show you how I made these Hen and Chick Cake logo cookies in just seconds. So what you need to get started is a cookie with royal icing that's been fully dried overnight as a base coat. You need an edible ink printer. Mine is from Icing Images and may be purchased by clicking on the link in the description below this video. And you need a sheet of acetate that fits in your printer, 8.5 by 11. Step 1 is to print the image that you want onto the acetate. Make sure that you size your image on the computer before you print it to make sure that it will fit onto the surface of your cookie. Also, be sure to flip the image before printing so that it prints backwards onto the acetate. You will be flipping the image over to transfer it to your cookie and you don't want it to end up backwards. I've printed an entire sheet here so that I can make several cookies. Next, cut out your image, just one of them. Be sure to only touch the bottom of the acetate as the image has printed on top and it will smear if you touch it. You're going to carefully flip your image over and line it up before setting it straight down onto your cookie. Once the image is touching your cookie, you don't want the acetate to move. So use one finger, hold it down firmly, and use your other hand to transfer the image by pushing straight down onto every part of the image until it all transfers onto your cookie. Unlike fondant, royal icing isn't going to grip the acetate at all, so it will slip very easily and the image will smear if you're not careful. Keep holding it by pressing straight down on every part of the image to make sure the entire picture transfers. And then you're going to carefully peel the acetate off so let's peel the acetate off and check it out. Perfect. I printed this one in color and I could just add a nice border and that would be finished. Uh, or I could have printed it in grayscale and piped over it in whatever colors I wanted. We already know that this method works on fondant, so it's a great way to make cookie toppers with fondant or cupcake toppers. An easier way to do this, more efficient way to do this, I should say, would be to roll out a sheet of fondant, print an entire sheet of logos, transfer them to that sheet, and then use your circle cutter to cut them out when you need them. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please be sure to click subscribe for my YouTube channel and check out my other videos. Have a great day.